Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can put together this awesome purple and blue power mad modded outfit. I have noticed a ton of comments from you guys recently asking me can I put together more modded outfit videos. So I thought that it only made sense I went ahead and done this video today. As always if you guys do enjoy this video and you'd like to see me do more modded outfits in the future. Do be sure to drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the great thing about this clothing glitch is it's extremely easy to do and it also works on a PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. So as you guys just saw on screen right there, I was flicking through all of my outfits just proving to you guys I don't currently have this outfit saved. So the first thing you guys want to do is be in a free roam public session then as you guys can see right here you want to be wearing the outfit that you either want to get rid of or that you want to replace so in my case i actually had nine saved outfits and i had one empty space so i didn't want to replace any of the outfits instead what i want to do is go ahead and equip a standard outfit and then save this into a new slot and like i said if you guys do have 10 saved outfits just be wearing the outfit that you guys do want to replace now as you guys can see right here when i'm wearing the standard outfit I go ahead and call it power mad as this is the slot that I want to be saving the outfit in once I glitch it onto my character now from here all you guys want to do is go ahead and start up any of the power mad game modes now of course these adversary modes can't be played solo so you guys will need some friends to help you guys out with so if you guys don't have that many friends to actually play GTA 5 online just leave a comment down below with your gamer tag what console you play on and you might be better off leaving whether or not you got a mic because I know certain players only prefer to play with other players who've got mics also another tip is you guys may notice when you press start play job and you go and launch a power mad it might already put you in a game with some random people if that's the case then just simply go ahead and bookmark the power mad or simply go and add them to a playlist and launch the playlist or launch the bookmark job and then you guys will be the host of that lobby every single time so you don't have to worry about players coming over to you and killing you when you're trying to do the glitch now once you guys are in the setup part of the menu it doesn't make a difference how you set the game up because you're not actually going to be playing the game so go ahead and just invite your friend into the game and go ahead and start the game up now like i mentioned at the start of the video the great thing about this clothing glitch is there is four different color schemes that you guys can get from doing this glitch now you guys will need some other players if you guys do want to get the pink or the green outfit if you guys want to go for the purple or the orange one then as you guys can see these are the two default teams so basically if you guys do this glitch with one other player you can either get the purple or the orange outfit however if you guys do invite two other players into your game then you will have the option to also choose the green or the pink outfit so like i said just leave a comment down below find a group of players help each other out i've got tons of active players in my community always up for helping each other out nonetheless once you guys spawn into the game all you guys want to do is move a few meters away from your spawning location so in this case as you guys can see i just go over to the fruit store for the nice backdrop of the video all you guys want to do from here is pull up the interaction menu go down to style go down to illuminated clothing and you just want to flick this right on your d-pad for about 30 seconds or so now once you guys have spam this on your d-pad for about 30 seconds or so just leave your control pad don't press any buttons whatsoever from here you just want to wait until you're kicked from the game for inactivity so obviously i'll speed this part up just to save you guys time this should take about two and a half three minutes or so and you will notice a little message in the bottom left just above your gps telling you how long you've got left until you're kicked from the game so as you guys can see right here after about two minutes or so i'm kicked from the game once this happens you want to spam down a on the xbox or x on the playstation just so you can spawn into your free run session quicker and as you guys will see bang my character is now wearing this new power mad outfit now from here you guys want to head over to any of your apartments offices or clothing stores and then save this as an outfit now once you guys have got this saved as an outfit you want to head over over to the clothing store and you want to apply these purple high tops of course the great thing about this modded outfit is this power mad outfit does come in like four different colors i think it's pink orange and green so obviously if you guys do prefer a different color you can go ahead and choose that color scheme nonetheless once you guys have applied the trainers all you want to do is head over to the top section and you want to apply one of these older hoodies that we can put the hood up on So as you guys can see these hoodies right here you can choose any color you like the look of i decided to go with the black one because i think it matches well with this outfit but you guys can go ahead and select any jacket you like the look of 
Now, once you guys have done that, you want to head over to the accessory section and you want to apply any gloves that you guys like the look of. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to try and do a scheme where I'm doing purple and blue on this outfit because if you guys aren't aware, I do have a famous paint job where it is a mix of purple and blue. It's kind of where I want to go in that color scheme of this outfit. But like I said, you guys can choose any color you like the look of. If you guys do want to choose the same ones as me, I did go for the aqua camo tactical ones. Now, from here, we're going to temporarily remove our hat so we can put our hood off for this outfit so what we want to do for that is pull up an interaction menu go on to accessories and we just want to apply any accessory that covers our face so in this case i'm going to be using the rebreather as you guys will see once i apply it to my character i can then remove it and it now removes the hat from my character now from here you can go down to your hood and as you guys can see you can simply just put your hood up on this jacket so once you guys are wearing your hood up you want to back out and pull up the interaction menu again and you simply want to equip any body armor onto your character as you guys can see right here it doesn't make a difference what body armor you guys like just put body armor underneath your jacket now what you guys will notice is by doing that we can now go back Back over to the accessory section and we can also now wear a scarf on top of this outfit so simply head back over to the accessory section and just choose any scarf that you like the look of that matches up with your outfit in my case i'm going to be going for the black one just to match up with the jacket but like i said you guys can choose any color you like the look of Now from here you guys need to go ahead and buy a dome biker helmet and a dome vent mask. So simply head over to the hat section in the clothing store and just make sure you buy any of the dome helmets. In my case as you guys can see I decided to just go for the skull and snake one seeing as I already owned it I just want to save as much money as I can. Okay, now once you guys are wearing the helmet and you've got the outfit on, you're going to head over to the mask store over by the beach and you just want to select any of these event masks that you like the colour of. This is another great thing, like I said about this glitch, there is a ton of different colours to choose from. But like I said, I'm going to be going for the purple and blue outfit, so I'm going to be choosing a blue coloured mask. But once again, you guys are more than welcome to choose any other colour you guys like the look of. If you guys want to go for the same one as me, I went for the blue digital event mask. So once you guys have applied that, you want to head over to any clothing store in the game and simply go ahead and save this as a new outfit. So as you guys can see, I end up calling it Purple Rare. Okay, so for the next part, we're actually going to be moving the original hat back onto our new outfit. So as you guys can see right here, you want to be wearing the outfit that we saved originally when we first backed out of the Power Mad mission. Now you guys want to be wearing the outfit once you get onto your bike and your character is wearing the helmet. And you want to get off your bike and as soon as your character goes to take off his helmet, you want to flick back to your new outfit that I called Purple Rare. And as you guys can see, your character should now have the hat on the new outfit. Okay, and now for the final part, we're going to be glitching the mask on top of this outfit as well so all you guys want to do from here is register as ceo you want to pull up your interaction menu go down to style and you want to flick it once to the left as you get on your bike and then flick it back once right very quickly so as you guys can see on screen right here i didn't do it right this time i'm just showing you guys that you cannot wait while doing this part as you guys can see once i get back off my bike i flick back onto my outfit my mask does appear but it disappears very quickly so what you actually want to do is do it how i do on screen so flick the outfit on get on your bike flick it back and jump straight back off and bang as you guys can see my character has now got this epic modded looking outfit and of course in typical fashion because i was recording a clothing glitch i had some random player coming over to me and trying to kill me if this does happen to you i would suggest just going on passive mode so you don't have to do this all again but once you've done this part you just want to go into the clothing store and then save this as a new outfit and then there we go boys you guys have now got this epic looking power mad outfit and of course i decided to mix two free colors in with this outfit you can go ahead and do a full purple camo outfit or a full green outfit which also does look really good so if you guys do go ahead and use this clothing glitch do be sure to take a picture and send me them on twitter at laser gaming and i'll be sure to drop you guys a like however the last thing i do want to say is the first part of this glitch where you actually have to save the power mad outfit does require you guys to have a few friends so do be sure to definitely leave a 
comment underneath this video with your gamer tag or your PSN and you might be better off leaving whether or not you got a mic because I know certain players only like to play with other players who've got mics but I guarantee as long as all of you guys have watched this video you should all be able to comment straight away and help each other out and if any of you guys would like to add the duffel bag on top of this outfit afterward I did put a video up yesterday showing you guys how you can get a duffel bag and also transfer it onto different outfits so I will leave a link to that video down below in the description definitely be sure to go and check it out nonetheless that's gonna do it for me guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace